still can't feel my lips. How many people bring shark jaws to the dentist? We're embarking on a great journey. I've dreamt of this for years. Finally, the day has come. What is the day? January, what is it? We're going to Idaho to chase sharks. A mysterious shark. A shark that has almost driven me mad. This entire thing happened in uh, January of 1993. It all started in the basement of the Los Angeles County Museum and uh, looking at cool fish fossils and stuff and uh, plesiosaurs and that kind of stuff. And I had a fish thing going on and we were hanging out with J.D. Stewart and J.D. Stewart was showing us all these cool fossils in the basement and as we were leaving uh, there was this rock that was basically sitting by the corner of uh, the room just as you left. It was sitting on the floor. It looked like it was being used as a doorstop. But on it was this big coil, and at first glance, I was like, oh, what's this, JD? You know, is this an ammonite? What's an ammonite doing in here? An ammonite's like a big, you know, mollusk or something, like a big snail. He said, no, 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 look at, check it out, man. That is a, that's a shark jaw. I'm like, what? Yeah, check it out closer. It's a shark jaw. It's a really ancient shark, and this thing has blown paleontologists' minds for over a hundred years, and nobody's ever figured it out. And I was like, whoa, this is a shark jaw. No, I can't believe How's that work? He's like, well, I don't know. And I was like, come on, Jay, does it like whip out? Is it like, you know, some sort of, you know, party favor? Did it, did it like cut stuff? Where's this, where's this thing at? So at that point, JD said, well, listen, it's kind of out of my field of, uh, you know, knowledge. If you want to know more, there's really only a handful of people in the world working on this kind of stuff. And I have come to find out that's true. There's like six of them maybe in the planet. And uh, he said, you talk to this guy that I know. His name is Reiner Zangerl. And uh, uh, he's the guy who wrote the book on Paleozoic Sharks. Because this old guy would kept telling me, the oldest teeth are in the center of the world. It doesn't make any sense. I was like, what does that mean? I don't understand. Then went, oh, when you call the oldest teeth, the oldest teeth are the baby teeth. I think that's likely just sediment, honestly. We disagree. Sedimentary. Uh-huh. Yet you guys are still friends. Yeah. Let's look at this, and then there's, looks like maybe cartilage texture just under that. Well, that's a shark skull you're holding. Could be. There are plate-like, there are plate-like teeth on the upper palata quadra, yeah. supposedly. This actually sits just under that, so there's like a ledge and that sits under it. So this supports the world to keep it from compressing what? like that during biting. Let me actually open up the real... Well, that changes the look of the animal, Jesse. You didn't tell me that. So, my friend Gary Staub yeah. has cast a whirl of teeth for us yeah. in some sort of metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been waiting a long time and the box is finally here. It's actually very sharp. It is very sharp. Oh my God. Woo! 
<laughs> well, aha! We basically we have uh, these teeth right in here are doing most of the chopping. So there's like 15 or so teeth right in there. All right, these others are covered by cartilage. Is that really what they're gonna do with it? You see the blood? What were you? Were you decapitating salmon? Here we go. Appear in my eyes. Less teeth in this specimen than there are. 